Gabby from Attack on Titan is the most woke character in anime. When I say woke, I don't mean the weird politicized term that everyone's been using, but how it's been used historically for African Americans to be aware of racial and social prejudice. I know, I know, we probably hate Gabby because she took out Sasha, and honestly, I struggled a lot when she took out Sasha, because I'm like, what? what is your purpose? You just came into this season, and you're taking out a character that has been... I have, I just... But I do think there is a valuable lesson we can learn from Gabby. Hear me out. Gabby, when we first meet her, is a super passionate Eldian who is a potential warrior candidate. She is brave and willing to risk her life for the Marleyan people. And you see in the first few episodes that she's willing to blow up a train even for a squadron. Personally, she is one of the Eldians who does not have a good judgment of other Eldian people on Paradise Island. This is mainly because she, has, she was brought up and raised on a history that is not true about her own people and a culture that despised the Eldians on Paradise Island. Gabby has this fierce determination that if she can become a warrior titan, then she and her family and the other, other Eldians in, on Marley can become accepted by the majority people, the Marleyan people. And she holds on to this pride of seeing herself as a true Eldian rather than the evil Eldians on Paradise Island. Gabby holds on to this pride and superiority of the Eldians from Paradise even when she's in enemy territory. She doesn't even remove her armband under any circumstances. If forced to remove, she will do anything to get it back and fears that without it, while on the island, she will become just like the evil Eldians on Paradise Island. When Gabby gets captured and she ends up being a forced hostage on Paradise Island, she eventually realizes that the people on Paradise aren't actually devils that they've been painted to be, but they're actual human beings and she ends up finding this out by uh, spending time with Sasha's parents. Eventually, Gabby softens up, and this leads to her teaming up with everyone to end up defeating Eren, which that's a whole another topic. I don't, I literally have mixed feelings about Eren, and I, I don't know. I don't read the manga, so I'm waiting for it to finish. Well, shit, I'm, I don't know. I have mixed feelings. Gabby's realization is significant because she realizes that the injustice towards these people on Paradise Island were unjust. Now, with all this being said, one question needs to be asked. Is Gabby considered a woke character after her development? I mean, she does realize that the people that are the same as her but different from her are human as well and that no one should be facing the type of injustice that they've been facing and sending people over there to destroy that like it yes i think she is i think she's a woke character by the definition that's been historically used not the definition that's used today that's this really really stupid and Gabby, who had such a disdain for her own people, has in a sense been awakened to the reality that aliens on Paradise Island and the history about them is false, and that they are really just like her. Through this realization, she now sees herself together with the aliens of Paradise Island, Island instead of again. <laughs> What's amazing about Gabby's story so far is that she reminds me of the New Testament describing Jew and Gentile people being at odds with one another and having disdain for one another. The good news in that is that when Jesus comes down, he bears our sin, he bears the cross, right? And he knocks down that wall. And when Jesus comes, he knocks down that wall, and he creates peace between two people groups and with his blood, no matter who you are or what you've done or what background you come from. You can work together with people you had false assumptions about to go about the common problem. In Gabby's case, it's taking down Aaron, who might be a psychopath and just crazy. In our case, it's doing away with bias and prejudice and injustice from anyone. But I do think Gabby is just a reflection of one of the ways that prejudice is a reality in our society right now. And I think this can give us hope that people can change given grace, love, and kindness, and that our solution on this side of heaven is Jesus, who breaks down all of those barriers by the cross. Through Throughout the whole Attack on Titan series, I think Gabby is probably the smartest character in this anime because she realizes just by spending time with the different people that you do not have to hate these people and that these people are just human. And it's great that Gabby came to this realization because having hate for anyone of any kind for any reason because of assumptions is kind of wild. But I don't know. Am I stretching? Let me know what you think. 
Thank you for tuning in to Anime Relatable. It was great having you here. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps me out. And getting out anime content. I love anime. I want to be able to share that with other people. But also, I love Jesus. And I want to be able to show how anime points to Jesus in the best way possible. So, if you're a Christian and you love anime, yo, click that like and subscribe button. If you're not a Christian but you still love anime, click it anyway. I, we'd love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching my video. See you guys soon.